Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology team. Let's take a closer look at how a student can record a basic response to a topic in Flipgrid. So I've gone ahead and opened a topic as a student and to add my own response, I'm simply going to click the add response button. This is going to launch the Epic Flipgrid camera. Once the Flipgrid camera loads, notice that I have a few features. I can click daily check-ins, the title of the topic, to show the topic, and I can move that around my screen. This is a great help in case it's a longer topic with multiple steps. I can refer back to the topic prompt to ensure that I'm answering the topic in full. Notice that I can also click on the little add sticky note button. This adds a sticky note. Now the topic and the sticky notes do not appear in my video response, but they're great for me to reference. The sticky note allows me to actually type my ideas out. So this allows me to organize my thoughts and ideas before I start recording. I can also move the sticky notes around just as I can the topic. And I can add as many sticky notes as I need. So I can line up my screen here and I would go ahead and add a few notes uh, or ideas that I want to make sure that I address when I'm recording my response. Notice that I can also see the time. I can see that I have two minutes, 30 seconds to record my response. This is going to count down for me as I'm recording. Now, I can go ahead and click on options to uh, select from a variety of options for my recording. I can also select from a variety of effects and we've taken a look at those in a separate video. I can also add a backdrop to my recording. I'm gonna go ahead and just blur my screen or my backdrop, I should say. All right, to start recording, I'm simply going to click on the record button here in the center. Notice that it's going to count me down and I can begin sharing my response in my recording. When I am recording, notice that I have the ability to hit pause. If I hit pause, I can always press the record button to continue recording again, or notice I can click next here in the bottom right corner. When I click next, I can preview the clip that I have recorded. Notice that there is a button to add more to my recording here in the bottom left of the Flipgrid camera. By clicking add more, I can go ahead and I can set the stage to record my next clip. So I could add additional effects for this clip, such as adding a board, I could change my backdrop if I wanted to. I could add text. I could, let's go ahead and add a sticker. And then I would simply hit record. And now I could record my next clip in Flipgrid. And then I could hit pause again and hit next again. And and now I can preview my two clips that I've recorded. Now what's really cool is I can even reorder my clips. So I can just grab and drag this clip to the front and, and this could be my opening clip. Again, when I click add more, I continue to add clips. I can add as many clips uh, to my recording up until two minutes, 30 seconds. That's how long the recording can be. Notice when I'm in the preview mode, I can also add music to my response. Let's go ahead and add music. Before I add music, I can listen to preview. I like this track here, so I'm going to click the plus to and add it record my next as the background music in my video response. Once I'm ready to submit my response, I would go ahead and click the next button again. Notice that Flipgrid automatically selects a frame from my video uh, to be my selfie. Now, if I'm unhappy, I can always click select frame 
and select a different frame. Or I can click take a selfie. This loads the camera and lets me take a picture. Notice that before I click to take the picture, I can add effects or even uh, change my backdrop. And I just simply click the center button to take my picture. And then I can confirm my selfie. Notice that I can also choose to upload a photo or I could simply add a name tag. If I just add a name tag, that's all that will appear on the selfie. All right, notice here before I submit my video, if the teacher has turned on the link feature, I could add a link to work that I've created. Maybe I have uh, created a written response on a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word document, or I have an accompanying PowerPoint presentation or Google Slides presentation. I could go ahead and link to that here. I can also provide a description for my video response. Once I'm ready to submit this, I'm simply going to click the Submit button. We'll give that a minute to upload. And once I see the success screen, I know that my video has been successfully added to the topic. Now, keep in mind that this topic is moderated. So even though my video is submitted, my video will remain hidden until my teacher activates it.